All right, um, I, yeah, I didn't expect to be doing so many videos this week. Maybe this will, will be the last one for the week and I can stop driving people nuts and whatever and I can focus on the live stream. We'll see. I'm having fun though, that's for sure, and it's going a mile a minute. Um, so I said, I was hoping I was going to be able to move the 4th Cavalry Division up towards Memo here. It's a port one port. Uh, uh, a port uh, it's got a port capacity of one. Um, I technically should never have been using this part of the map for my scenario. Uh, I, I did at one point because I, I stuck it on because I wanted to uh, see a bit of context. And then I allowed some of the German cavalry to use this little spit of land to get around. And I wasn't technically really sure if you could because you can see it doesn't really... You see there's a tiny little blue separation. So I wasn't... But then, yeah, it looks like I could. I should not be able to do it, actually. Hmm. Well, it's a little late now. There's so many things have been uh, go uh, trucking along here. Anyways, I was like, okay, his, and I don't know. I, I looked uh, to take a look at the Gorlitza uh, Tarnif breakthrough, but by then it had already expanded out a little bit. I didn't see any German troops uh, in the order of battle or whatever that started near Memo. That being said, Obviously, it's got strategic importance for the Germans. There's no way they're going to just n not have anybody there. That being said, there is technically a fort there, but historically called the Spit Fort, I do believe, but it was um, handed over to the civilians uh, late 19th century or something like that. And so I just decided, okay, I'm going to put it, I'm going to make it if any... Um, German troops could get in there. It's just going to be like a um, an, um, a, a fortress of, with one strength point, and that's why I was going to do it. Uh, now that's but the unfortunate bit is I'm not even able to get the Fourth Cavalry Division over here because uh, the Russians had moved over, and this little enemy zone of control just knocks them out. I can only get up to that spot. That's five movement points to get there, and I just I don't I need I would need another three to get across. So, that being said, I'm going to let the Russians uh, take a chance, uh, if they want to, uh, take a hit. And I'm just going to pretend there's like a little garrison or something like that sitting there. In other words, hardly anybody there. And if the Russians are able to inflict one hit, remember, they're on supply. They've got no supply points. So, if they want to uh, come next turn, uh, try and see if they can um, bring somebody across here uh, and enough strength points to, you know, uh, inflict one hit and take Memel, so be it. I think that'll add to the narrative. Additionally, adding to the narrative, this now, uh, as far as I'm concerned, shows a hell of a lot more uh, importance for me, uh, the Germans, to try to take this position and cut off the lines of communication to this area. That would probably cause these guys to all retreat, which is uh, would take the pressure off a of memo, obviously. So I'm liking this. Uh, I And I'll go from, I'll still try to figure this whole thing out with the little whatever. Um, that's been a niggling uh, thing. I should have um, fixed that. But anyways, uh, it's kind of like a cock up from the the very beginning, anyway. So this is uh, yeah, I'm, I'm loving the narrative. I'll, I'll go with it now. Um, the tail end for this bit. I'll try to zoom out a little bit, but I'm not moving the camera. I can tell you that much because um, there's it's so precarious. There's counters everywhere. Um, I've got a ton of uh, strength points coming towards here. Yet again, it's this single track rail. Later on, uh, come 1915, this has got to get converted to double rail. This is nuts. Um, I'm going to have to just really spend some time shuffling as many strength points as I can around here. Bring as, like I've got, uh, 24 strength points behind you, behind the camera that you can't see that are coming all towards here and they're just going to flood on in. I'm going to try to, I know that I've only got core HQs over here so they can only supply, um, two at a time here. So uh, I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't. Um, that's a single track. I had to move, uh, core HQ over. Um, this is going to be extremely important. I really have to take this, uh, take the spot. So I'm going to have to shuffle uh, as many troops as I can. This away. Oh gosh, is this just like a, a little one thing after the other here? Like I move one thing and it's going to cause me grief somewhere else because I really want to nail this guy. To, um, and I've got a lot of strength points sitting there, but now I've got to shuffle a lot of strength points over here because they've got the river bonus. I do know, though, that um, 
they are thin, thin as paper. But yet again, as I just said before, I've got to start going back to um, uh, making sure I can do two hits uh, and so on and so forth. So, okay, it's going to be every little spot counts and I have to start moving. Thank God I've got this little bit of buffer, uh, except for that spot. That'll be a week. No, shoot. I'll just have to do that, like I said before, that little conveyor belt of moving strength points around. I love, I can see it in my mind, I love seeing uh, doing it as well. That's it. Um, you know, it's going to take a while. I'm shocked, though, at how fast this is moving because this is it. After this, uh, the Russians go and that's their very last turn for this, um, this mini game thing. And um, oh my goodness me. All right, that's it. Hope you're having a good one. See ya.